So balance sheet at the end of our budgeted time period, where do we stand after this time period that we are budgeting for this quarter is ended? That's what we're looking at. We're gonna have the assets will be the current assets. We're gonna start off with cash. Cash will be uh, coming from the cash budget. So cash budget, we have the 40,000. That's where this 40,000 is here. Don't confuse that with the 40,000 at the beginning of last time's balance sheet. So this is the balance sheet uh, last uh, the, at the end of last period, which is of course the beginning numbers for this period. The reason it's the same is because remember that's our minimum balance. So it happens to be that we needed to take out a loan to get to 40,000 and because that's our minimum balance. So don't get confused that that's the same 40. It's not the same 40. Uh, this is the beginning 40. This is the ending 40. The reason they're the same is because we made it the same in order to keep our minimum balance at 40 by taking out a loan. In this case, the loan at the end for that 8,160. All right, then we got the accounts receivable. We're going to have to do a bit of a calculation to figure out what the ending balance in the accounts receivable is. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the beginning receivable, which is going to come from last time's uh, accounts receivable. So we had the balance sheet as of the end of last period, which is, of course, the beginning of this period at uh, 342, 248. That's where we start. And then we're going to add to that the credit sales. So we're going to have to figure out what the credit sales are. A problem is going to have to give you that. In real life, we're going to have to, of course, estimate that. In this case, the problem said that we have 1,447,200 in sales given by the sales budget here. So here's the sales budget giving us this number here. And we said that 70% of that, the problem said, was going to be on account. Therefore, those are sales that are going to increase accounts receivable. So here's where our accounts receivable started. Then we had the sales on account increase in the receivable. And then we have the cash collections from credit sales. So we had to figure that out and we've done that in the past. We did that on the total cash receipts from customers calculation here. And so if we add these up, that's what we received in terms of cash. So of course that's gonna be what's reducing the accounts receivable. So if we take this and make it a bit larger like this, we're gonna say that the 342248 plus 346080 plus 329280 is gonna give us this uh, 1,017,608. And then if we do the calculation we started off with, 342248, people owing us money, plus 1013040, that's what increased the accounts receivable, those are the sales on account, minus what people paid us, which was 101,708. And that should give us the ending balance of 337,680. 337,680. That's our ending receivable. So we got to go through a bit of a calculation to get that. That's where we're going to be at here on our balance sheet. There's the ending receivable. Next item, raw materials. We're going to take that from step three in our budgets, which is the raw materials budget. And we're going to take the ending balance in terms of units here and multiply it times the 21 uh, per unit price, and that will give us our ending balance of the 84,000 in this case. So remember, what we're looking at is where we stand as of the end of the time period. That's what the balance sheet is in terms of the bud budgeted balance sheet. So we're gonna take our ending uh, amount here. That's what we're gonna have on the balance sheet at the end of the time period. Then we've got the finished goods inventory. Finished goods inventory, we could take from the uh, cost of goods sold calculation where we have here. And this is gonna have to be something that's given in the problem. It's gonna to have to be something that we will estimate in uh, real life, what's gonna be in the ending finished goods inventory. And then if we add up the total current assets, then we can take out the calculator here. And that would be the 40, thousand plus the three three seven six eight zero plus the eight four zero 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 plus the three two one three six zero gives us the seven eighty three oh four oh that's our total current assets